Hello, this is Scott Carpenter, and welcome to the Sasquatch Awareness Project. So, and that was a mouthful, Sasquatch Awareness Project, sorry. Uh, well, that just goes right into what I was going to talk about a little bit. You know, I'm recovering from a, a really bad bout of food poisoning, and uh, my apologies for not having more content out. Uh, but it's been it's been rough. It really has. It's sapped my energy. Uh, it's been a gradual recovery. It's been two weeks now, and um, it's just you know it's just like ten percent better every day. And the last couple of days I've not like felt like crap all day. <laughs> and uh, energy still levels are low. Uh, my diet's coming back. Or, you know, as far as, you know, what I'm able to eat. And so I've kind of branched back out into some simple vegetables and still, you know, I was on, on a low, uh, low carb or keto, whatever you want to call it. But, uh, you know, I've been trying to kind of branch out and eat a few more carbs. And uh, I've lost uh, quite a bit of weight. I lost about, let's see, I was 218. Now I'm about like, I lost 20 pounds, and uh, so, uh, just trying to, you know, staying hydrated, getting the energy back, and so, uh, and that dovetails into yesterday, I went for a hike, just an easy one, a level uh, up at uh, Teleco Lake uh, on a trail that is level and flat. Uh, beside the lake it's about a mile in about a mile back out and uh, so I went there and uh, did my hike and um, some interesting things happen uh, you know I get a lot of email a lot of questions and a lot of people will send me photographs of things in the trail or you know uh, possible maybe and you know is this anything? Does this mean anything? And of course, you know, it's, it's hard to tell because you're not there at the situation when they took the pictures. But what I'm getting ready to show you, and then this is probably going to be a two-parter. I'm going to try to keep it about 30 minutes on my energy level. <laughs> uh, and my ability to speak clearly will uh, kind of guide us through how, how long I blab. But, uh, so, but they are like, you know, you know, this derailed my train of thought, but, you know, people will, you know, ask, you know, is this a Sasquatch deal, or I see this from time to time, what's going on, it's kind of odd, it's kind of strange, you know, I, you know, I get a lot of those, and, and it happens to me too, and, and what I'm talking about is like, in this, about once every couple months, I'll go out, just and I like I said I don't research anymore so I'm not like out beating the bush I do have a back trail camera on and I've been observant but I'm not like you know I'm not seeking them out or doing that I'm doing things like hunting or or hiking or camping or whatever I'm doing scouting deer scouting putting up cameras taking them down so but I, I am being aware in about every two months I'll have an outing you know uh, then, you know when I go out and hike where the strange, odd stuff happens. Uh, and, uh, you know, in this incident, you know, the, one of the things that, you know, I have happened, and it happens to me and it happens to others, is the Sasquatch or seem to, uh, they like to, like, place things in the trail. 
and they place it exactly in the middle of the trail. And if you, I mean, I've I've got down with a uh, tape measure, measured stuff before. And it, if the trail is like nine and a half inches, then this thing, whatever they put there, a rock, a piece of a stick, uh, whatever, flower, a feather, a uh, piece of moss, it will be dead center four and a half inches. I mean, like, like they measured it. And uh, in this outing, I had one of those one of those days. I went, you know, this trail is choppy. And when I mean choppy, it's got a lot of roots on it. It's nice and level, but it's got a lot of roots, a lot of rocks. And it's a pretty war worn trail. It's a pretty popular little trail. And so it's been worn down. So you have to look down. You have to be extremely careful you're going to fall. And of course, you know, I was, you know, still trying to get my sea legs back under me. And still am. And so... You know, I was having to be very careful. My balance, you know, from time to time, still a little woozy. And so, and I had a backpack on, not real heavy, but I had one on. So I'm, you know, I'm trying to, you know, trying to get back in shape and, and trying to deal with that. So I'm watching. So all the way out, I don't know, notice anything in the middle of the trail or anything, the rocks, anything abnormal. And I get to the, about a mile in a place, basically I go into where the, the uh, there's a creek or a draw that comes in and the trail goes up the hill to go on top of the mountain. So that's where I turned around. I'm going to climb the mountain. It's about about a one mile. It's about one mile in. So I went a mile in, a mile out. And uh, so I stuck when I, you know, I went out. I didn't see anything abnormal, anything unusual. Uh, I put, uh, I changed out the, uh, the battery and my GoPro and uh, here's my little GoPro and I've gone to the 11 and, it, and it's really nice it uh, it has the uh, stabilizer on board in the in the lens itself it has a gimbal and so it you know it's not as good as the uh, as the external one but it's pretty close it's you know so I don't really need that and plus it's too big for the those so uh, and I'm kind of glad it is, but it, it's for, it's 4K. It's a higher end 4K, so I'll get really good back trail stuff, and uh, very nice little camera, and uh, saved up for that one. And of course, I'm doing my 4K. I've got a 4K, you know, Luminix here, so uh, make a movement. But uh, so what I'm going to show you is this. There was. You know, finally with the 4K, I have one 4K capture with the GoPro. That's the one where he's, uh, uh, the Sasquatch is back in the shadows and he leans forward and you can see his eyes and his face and you put, you can actually see him push foliage and all that good stuff. And I've, I've done that agnosium. Uh, but, uh, so that was, that's one 4K capture. And this is another. Now this is not like a Sasquatch jumping out in the trail. I wish he would, but... Or following me, where it's you know you know full body motion and yada yada yada. But uh, there's a the trail breaks up the hill and there's this there's a wash and the wash has some very large boulders in it as it goes into the lake and you know like you know boulders big enough for you know somebody to hide for hide, hide behind. They're large. They're big as Volkswagens are bigger. And so uh, I kind of got a little. Hair raised, but nothing bad. The birds are still singing, the wind's blowing, so it's not like you know, ooh. but uh, you know, just a little bit of mm. but uh, so I go ahead and change my camera, put my backpack on, turn my back, and I pause because I just have a gut feeling something's going on somewhere behind me. So I pause for just a little bit and then I take off down the trail. Now, as I go back down the trail, I start finding these objects that are. Uh, uh, in the center of the trail that weren't there before. When I mean objects, what I mean is like the, there was, a, you know, uh, there were there was a stick, or there, actually there were three sticks parallel to each other perfectly, and the middle stick, there was three of them, so the middle stick is exactly in the middle of the trail, and then the two sticks on the side are splitting the difference. So I saw that, and I thought, hmm. But I, kept, I took pictures, but kept going, because it's like, hmm. And then the next thing I found was there was a, a rock about 
uh, not quite baseball size, golf ball size, you know, a little bigger. And it was turned up on its edge. So it's up on its edge in the center, dead center of the trail, about 20, 20 yards from that. Go 20, 30 more yards, or well, not even that much, because I took a picture of both of them. There's another rock setting up in the center of the trail. Go a little farther, find a there's a stick laying sideways, and, and then there's a stick crossing that, that 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 crossing stick is exactly in the middle of the trail. Go a little bit further, and I find a clump of moss. Look around again, you know. There's uh, you know there's moss on the trees, but this, this is like a piece of moss that fell off the tree or whatever, about the size of a about the size of my fist, and it's laying in the center of the trail. You know, I'm starting to get a pattern here, Start, and uh, during this. And one, one of these, and I can't remember which one, I, I kind of, after I take a picture, I kind of kick it with my foot, you know, kind of, and then I, I hear a, a limb snap and break. It's on, it's on the camera, but it's not, the wind's blowing a little bit, so, it, you know, I'd have to enhance it and everything, and everybody's heard a limb snap. You heard a limb snap. It was a limb snap. You know, for the skeptics, going to say it's coincidence, you know, whatever. Those who know better know better. So uh, I'm not trying to convince him by anything. I'm just, you know, like I said, this is definitely for those who, uh, on the Sasquatch Awareness Project, that have written in and said, "Hey, this strange or odd stuff happens. These coincidences happen. Does it happen to you? Is it Sasquatch? Is it not?" And so, I'm, this is one of those deals where I got it on camera. So I we can kind of address it and look at some interesting things. So I keep going. And I think I, I find one more. If I, I scroll down here, yeah, I find one more, one more stick in the center of the trail. Then right before I get to the trailhead, you got to cross the road to get to the trailhead. There's a on the side of the trail. There's a large flat rock, mm, four or five foot long. It's like a, almost like a step. But it's a rock, but it's almost, it's kind of squared out. And, you know, I looked at that rock on the way out. There wasn't nothing on it. Well, laying on the rock uh, on the way out was a, was a, da uh, was a daisy. You know, it had been, it'd been, you know, snipped off about that, you know, that far down the stem. And so the flower was laying on the rock. So that was the last thing. But what I want to hit tonight with my last, with, time I have left is there was something I, I can't say it's a Sasquatch I uh, can't say what it is but it's interesting because it has it has white eye shine it's back in the shadows it's not the sunlight though it could be the sunlight reflecting off its eyes or it could be its eyes itself at one time I look at that the video and I'm thinking well those its eyes are self illuminating and the next time I look and I'm like well no and, you know as I shift my shoulders just a smidge you know the, the eyes will brighten up but you, you know I don't know if it's leaning forward and leaning back or if it's you know turning its head and turning back you know this is a 4k capture it's a darn good capture but it's still this thing is back in the shadows unfortunately and uh, kind of hard to you know it can't you know, I can't really pull any detail of what it is other than make the eyes brighter. Now, this thing has a little friend with it that's above it and to the right. This thing's hiding behind the boulder and its head's up. And it's got a little a little buddy that's up to the right of it. And he's doing more of the, he's like, he's like looking over at me like this. He's doing over the shoulder thing. He's not, or he's kind of cocked, like he's not squared. The larger one is squared and looking at me. The other smaller one is kind of cockeyed to me, kind of, and he's looking like over his shoulder. Now he does square up, and that's the end. What something I found interesting is uh, as this little video goes on, as I as I pause because I feel something's going on, and that's kind of it's weird feeling when you know something's going on behind you, but you go ahead and turn your back to it anyway because you know you got your camera. And you, you know, you're trying to fake them out, whatever it is. But I have seen white eye shine before, both at, in the shadows during the day and at night. And uh, 
you know, so, you know, reflected sunlight slash for, for reflecting the IR light, reflecting moonlight, uh, ambient light, whatever. So, I'm kind of going to get started in this thing, and the first thing I'm going to show you, I'm going to get to the good stuff first. And so we're going to go with the, uh, I'm going to show the full, let me get this open here. So this is me, the backpack here, the, the, the GoPro's on the backpack. I'm getting ready to swing it over my shoulder. And uh, let's do it here. So I'm just putting on my, putting on my backpack. So what this right in here, this is where I'm talking about. This little creek comes down in here, and then as you go up this creek, though, you'll see these boulders. And uh, that's me zipping stuff up. I just wanted you to see the whole lead in, so you kind of get the idea. A lot of people, you know, some people just want to see the good stuff. If you do fast forward, that's you know that's why they make a fast forward. So I'm getting ready here. Getting everything adjusted, making all kinds of good noises there with clips and zippers and adjusting. You see, here's the lake. You know, the trail goes up the hill. The trail breaks, it goes up the hill about another 30, 40 yards, then turns left and crosses this little, little ravine like, or this little dip. So, right here we're, I'm getting rated. Alright, so I've just turned sideways. Here's this big boulder right here, and there's the eye shine. There's, there's this thing shining. You can see he's fully in the shadows. He's back. Away. Here's the sunlight. And to show you that here is a case, there's these two little dots here, that, that's where the sun is hitting a couple leaves. That's not eye shine. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about this little booger here, and then his buddy's right up here. There's two little eyes up there. And this is a big old boulder right here. Pretty good sized boulder that the sun's shining on. So I'm going to keep playing it. This is real time, real speed. This is the actual size. It's 4K. And you see there, now I didn't shift very much. I had literally not moving, except for just kind of like left and, you know, kind of just getting things shuffled. And the eye shine went away, went out. Did he turn away? Did he close his eyes? Did he back up a little bit? Don't know, but he's he's still there. If I zoom in, you'd see him. You can kind of see it, but eye shine's kind of gone away. And I'm gonna start walking. And there he is. As I turn my shoulders, you can see the two eyes illuminate again. And that's a place where I actually start and stop the, th just making sure that I had it running. That's where that snap was. And then I start walking away. And yes, I really hope that about right now you would see a black figure working his way down the trail to keep an eye on me. One of these days, maybe. One of these days. But you can see here the trail's narrow. Here, you know, narrow little trail and like I said, the trail goes up the hill and then it then crosses where it's a little flatter. It's really, so, you know, he's down here. There's no trail down where he's at or it's at, whatever it is. I can't claim it's a Sasquatch, but I can't, can't get enough of it there. So, you know, that all and so forth. So you can kind of see the trail and, and me doing my thing. So let's go to... I've zoomed in. I've done this, you know, a thousand ways to Sunday. That's why you know me. Uh, let's see. I shine shadow normal. I shine shadow slow. Slow. Let's see. I mean, that's just the I shine on. Yeah. Let's, let's do something better than that. Let's see. What's the zoom? Where's my zoom? Here's the zoom normal speed. So... Isn't this nice? I love the 4K. Look at that. If I'd have had this one out several years ago, we'd, we'd have some really good video. So, here's this big boulder. Right there's the 
left and right eye. And right there is his little buddy. You're above him. That's a big boulder. Comes down here. The trail goes up the hill here. And there's, if you, if I walked over, you can't see it, but there's a tree down here. There's a boulder here. There's several. There's a little bit of a boulder, but. So the boulder's got the sun on it, and he's down behind it. And there's him, and there's the little guy. His friend. See? There you can really see him. See, he's kind of like that. While the other one's shipped directly at me. And, um. Uh, Get a little bit of something off his forehead there. There's a really good, you can really see. See how far back they are though? They're not, you know, right right here's where the sunlight's hitting and they're what they're kind of back in there. And you can get a little you get a little bit of the bridge of the nose thing going on here, whatever this is. I need to go back and set the camera up here, and I need to go sit back there for size comparison, and I'll do that. I just hadn't had time. Uh, this happened two days ago, this day is Monday, no, actually yesterday, day is Monday night. This happened Sunday. So there's that, and there's that. This hot off the presses. See right there is where they kind of blink out on me. It's interesting. I've got a thing where it comes and goes, where it looks like it could be blinking or leaning full backwards. So here, there's that duber. He's two eyed, and there's that one. And right here is where they go out. It goes dark. And then I shift a little bit so you can see this perspective there. It's a, everything's in the shadows. And then it's I, as I work, you know, my shoulders. And I walk away. And that's it on that one. So let's go. Let's do uh, the slow motion. Let's see. Oh, that's the one. Let me get that's the 1080p I did for. Uh, yeah, this is this is like slow. This is like really slow. I'm making weird noises. Let's see if I can. Let's mute that. So you can definitely see him here. See the other one there. You can kind of see the top of his head, like a sun shining off the top of his head or something. So off the top of the head there. And there's that one, and there's that one. Let's go let it play. Look like he blinked or moved just a smidge. See, that's what's weird is I'm not moving. You say, well, that's the sunlight, Scott. No, I'm not moving. And you'd say, well, maybe clouds. Well, if clouds would have come over and blocked the sunlight, then the sunlight that's on this boulder, the top of this boulder would have been affected. It's not. See these three little dots right here? It's where the sunlight's coming down and making these little two dots like quote eyes. Uh, they're just as bright as they ever was. They ever were, ever was. Excuse me, Mom. So I go back here. So you can see him and you can see his little compadre up there. And I just flicker a little bit and out they go. And I'm not moving. Just not. So, in my humble opinion, something's back there making eye shine. Whether it's reflective or this is what leads me to believe that it, it's by its own, it, its eyes are glowing, or but I could be wrong. And then so I move my shoulders. It's going to come. He's there. I've got. I mean, actually, I've done a, a capture and really done the contrast, and you can once once I put a filter on it and really contrast it out and and and, and uh, lighten it quite a bit. You can see there. You can see the the dome. So there's the thing there. You can see the head. 
and then I move and go back. It's still dark, and huh, there his eyes come back. Really, all I'm doing is twisting my shoulders. I'm not really walking yet. There's that. And the other one you can't really see now. And there's a the little thing where I'm like, click, click. There he is. How much? I got five minutes, man. I take. There's the other one right there. So you got that one, you got that one. Sorry. So you see that one? There. And that's it. So let's get out of this. Let's go to the steel captures. And uh, I've got a bunch of them. Let's see where I want to start. Oh. Let's do the eyes open and eye closed. So this one right here. You can see here, he's back there, but the eyes are very light. And then if I go to the next frame, oh, oh I wish they were side by side. Let me see if I can fix that. So here we are, eyes are dim. This is like this one frame apart. You can see, I don't know whether it's dim, he had his eyes closed, but there you go. So there's that eye doing its thing. I move just a smidge. I do, it doesn't. You can kind of see a form. So let's jump to let's jump to this. So this is like at the very first and I'm just doing some filters here. And it's lower to the rock. Actually it's a little bit, the eyes are lower. Here's the top of the rock and it's kind of down a little bit. And there's and then the negatives. So you can see the eyes. There's another one. There he is. And then there's the negative. There they are. There they both are. They're still capture both of them. This one and this one. And there I'm just showing both of them. There is, there's the negative, the invert. It's another one. See the eyes of the little goob up here. You get a little reflection off the top of its domey head. There's that guy. There you go. You can see him there. You can see the brow, some sort of here. Some more. Right there. You actually see an iris on when you do the negative there on this guy. You can see his eye. You actually see the eyes. That's why sometimes the negatives. There's something in there that's got a glint on it. You can see this guy's one eye right there. This is after I switch and it's only it. Now notice, you know, it was down here, and in this one it's up a little bit more. Remember, it was on it's right, it was on top of the boat, right? You know, it's a little the little eye shine was down here. And now it's moved up here. 
and then there's the end of the negative. And the invert, inverted. And let's see. I did uh, did a little comparison here of all of them. Well, you can see the here. This is all you know. This is the in the inverted. And then I'm, I'm highlighting this guy up here, his eyes. And this is the one where he's he's cockeyed to me. He's kind of not 100% looking at me. And then in this one, it's obvious you can see it's, he's turned, he's flat. And both eyes are right at me. You can see here his, his eyes are pretty good. They're both right at me. Here he's leaning away or, you know, he's just half like that. So, so I went over as usual, and so, so much for 30 minutes. Let's see real quick yeah, where else I want to go with this. I just wanted you to see that for sure. Yeah, this is when he's. This is when it's dark. When it's you know when the quote the eye shine went out. So I took this still capture. You can see here the eye shine is out. Yeah, but when I see, it's still back in there. So so basically, I right here are the are his eyes that he said they're just real. I mean, I had to do a real, you know. Uh, contrast job there and really lighten it up and then contrast it out to get these to pop back up. Of course there's the in the inverted so you can see them better. And then there's that one. I think I'm trying to capture the little one, you know. There's his eye right there. Just barely see him. Now here is where I was talking about when I inverted it or I did it contrasted out. You can actually see the shape of its, you kind of see the shape of its head here. And you see that's right here. And you know, eye socket, eye socket. So he's totally, I mean, those eyes are totally gone. You can't even, there's nothing there as far as the eye shine. It's not even a little bit, but right there you can see there's something right there, and it's got a you know two eye sockets. And there I am. I put it in the negative so you can see it there. See eye socket, eye socket, top of head. Those are not the eyes. Those are not. <laughs> Don't write me no letters. I think I've showed this before. There they, there they are. You can see here he's got his eye. This one here is turned away. He's, he's kind of a little bit cockeyed to me. He's not totally facing me. And of course there's the inverted. And that will be, let's just say, let's say that's the end of part one. How's that? And uh, at uh, about 20, about 33 minutes. I think that's enough for one day. So hopefully uh, everybody enjoyed that. You know, you know, take a heart to people, that, you know, everybody who's, you know, sending me pictures of, you know, similar pictures like, you know, here's real quick. Let's see if I can find one. Oh, they're here, here they are. It's just, you know, the, the odd stuff like, here are the three sticks. You know, people that, uh, you know, will, will send me pictures like this, uh, different things on the ground. And they're like, look, this that wasn't there when I went through. I know. I, I mean, trust me, I was looking at the ground. I was concentrating on the ground so I wouldn't fall and break my neck on, uh, you know, stuff like this, these roots. And I, I, you know, and I was paying attention. I was seeing that. It was not there when I went in. And, you know. 20, 30 minutes later, and there they are. There were other people on this trail, but everybody in the parking lot, I never saw anyone. Or actually, there was a guy ahead of me, and he went in, and I gave him a few minutes to get ahead of me. But 
obviously. No, it's you know, there's no way to go around me the way this trail is. There's no way you either gotta swim the lake or you gotta go up on private property, which people won't do. But this is this is you know, you know, I get a lot of emails with similar things saying, "Is this Sasquatch activity?" And that's just something that you have to determine yourself. I, you know, I know this trail. I've been on this trail. I know there's Sasquatch here. There's been activity here, and uh, and this has happened to me multiple times, dozens over. And I, but I've been you know acquainted with the Sasquatch, and this has been happening. You know, like I said, I did you know I did all the um, research and stuff. So you know, 2008. 16, you know, 2018, you know, and it's 2023, so, you know, do the math there, I can't, uh, 10, 12, 13, 14 years, and so, you know, you know, so, you know, that's my thing, is, you know, this is what you look for, they, they seem to like this structure, they seem to like, uh, part of their personality is, is to do this, uh, these things, you know, whether it's rock, you know, if it's rock stacking or whatever, they they always like to be precise and and do things in an order like this, and you know it's also, it's, you know, I think it's a way they can communicate what I don't know. Hey, we know you're here. Hey, there was three people went down in front of you, which there was three cars in the parking lot. Uh, so you know, have whatever you know, they get maybe communications for them, but it's. It's odd and strange enough that you catch it, but if you're like doing a video like I am, and I'm like, I think a Sasquatch like that, most people are going, "Ooh, you're a nut!" Uh, you know, that just fell out of the woods like that and landed there. And so, you know, they, they all, you know, it, it, there are always is plausible deniability. The Sasquatch, when communicating with human beings. Most of the time, in situations like this, we'll do it in such a manner where you'll know what it is, and you'll know who did it, or what did it, the Sasquatch. But if anyone else sees it, they'll blow it off, they'll ignore it, it's a coincidence, it's just happenstance. And, you know, you can't have, you know, you know, you can't have stuff like this, you know, you know, showing up, there's that rock, and there's another rock right up here, and it's just... You know, that's the sort of thing that rock was standing on its edge, right in the middle of the trail. This rock here is standing up on its edge, right in the middle of the trail. So, you know, uh, so there's where the stick was across. This is right in the center of the trail. Stuff, you know, crazy stuff like that. And then there's something I'll talk about later. They're doing stuff around the house. Uh, and they're not supposed to be, but they are. But, you know, that... You know, for those that have that happen, no, you're not crazy. Yes, it's probably Sasquatch activity. Is there anything to do? No, just be aware of it. Be aware they're trying to communicate. You know, you just, you know, I just went on and did my thing. And, you know, being aware that, the, you know, they're around and, you know, if something happened, I wouldn't be shocked. And I think that's, you know. I think that's the way you have to take this. Is yeah, yeah, that's you know probable Sasquatch activity. Yes, you need to be aware of it, but you know you don't need to lose your lunch over it. You know it happens, and uh, it, it's just part of it. It's part of being aware of your surroundings and aware of what they are and what they do, and just you know making mental notes when things happen, so you're not taken you know uh, you know by surprise or anything. But, uh, and you know, I'm nothing special. They do this to hundreds of people, thousands of people. And they do stuff even worse as far as being overt. Right now, this is kind of covert, but I've seen, you know, I've seen people, they, they you know, they do a lot more as far as sign uh, communications. It's really overt. But, you know, this is, for me, this is what they do. This is, like I said, once every couple of months. I'll have a weird day like that, like I did yesterday, and this is the kind of stuff I, I'll have. This you combine this with the, I had some vocalizations, which I'll try to play next time. Uh, hopefully they'll come out. And they picked it up pretty good. Had a limb snap, had a vocalization, and I think I captured. I think 
you know that metal sound it sounds like a metal door opening and closing some people have associated maybe with the opening and closing of a portal I capture I had that yesterday and I captured it on and I'm hoping I can get it enhanced enough where it, you hear it I mean you can hear it but it's like you really got to listen for it with headphones and I'm I'm gonna see you know if I can get it uh, 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 get it uh, enhanced enough where I can do something with it. So, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I went along as usual, flapping my jaws. And, uh, like I said, uh, you know, pray for me uh, as I get stronger every day and uh, get my sea legs back under me and uh, uh, hopefully, you know, get to feeling better. I'm feeling okay, but like I said, my energy's still low, trying to get trying to get back to like normal strength and uh, normal energy level and uh, but uh, everybody just take care and uh, God bless and we'll see you next time